The year is 1978. It's Labor Day weekend, Indianapolis, biggest race of the year at the U.S. Nationals. Don the Snake Perdome and his all-conquering Army Arrow is going to be going into his sixth straight U.S. Nationals final round, a race he's already won multiple times. He's the quickest at the race. He's the fastest in the race. It kind of sounds like a sure thing. Now, Greg, talk to us a little bit about his final round opponent and where this guy was coming from. Tom the Mongoose McEwen and Prudhomme go way back. They had been racing at that time close to 20 years at Lions and, and against each other. They said McEwen had more laps at Lions than anyone. And what happened was his son, Jamie, died of leukemia at 15 years old, just two weeks before it was time to go to the U.S. Nationals. And Tom wasn't even gonna go. And some of his crew guys and his buddies said, well, you need to go because Jamie would want you to race and he would be there. So he went. Now, if you handicap this race, if you look at the prior performances, if you look at the stats from the drivers throughout that year, there's no way McEwen's gonna win that race. How did it unfold? He uh, decided to change the rear end gear and uh, to get more RPMs. In those days, you could run any gear you want, unlike today. And uh, he put a shorter gear in it, and it obviously worked great. And he felt that the car was much better, and it turned out to, that it really was in the final. Tom ran the, the quickest of his career, and Perdome hazed the tires a little bit, and it made for a very emotional top end celebration. Uh, the two grizzled old veterans got together and shed a few tears over Jamie and over the result of the race. And Greg, a special shout out for providing this history to the museum. Exactly. Don Trayson, a longtime drag racer from Columbus, Ohio, has graciously seen that we had these cars in the museum, and it makes a pretty great story with the snake and the mongoose. And nobody likes to lose a race, much less Don Perdome. But I think when you look at the footage, you say if there was one that he was going to lose, he probably didn't mind on this one. Uh, Tom has left us, and their rivalry has long since gone away. But right here at the NHRA Museum, you can kind of still see that final round from 1978. This is just a little bit different. Tom the Mongoose McEwen's son passed away last Sunday. He was a good friend to all of us, a young 14-year-old boy. Goose? Don Perdome. Very, very emotional at the moment. Just an incredible final, very difficult to describe. As many times as I've been here, I have seen few moments packed with as much emotion as this one.